Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that it's been almost two months since I sat down and did a video for you all. I'm going to be doing a video later on about what happened and I'm going to be showing you my new house a little bit. It's just a new to me house. It's not a brand new house. It's actually an older home, but I moved. I had surgery. Things were like crazy and I, yes, I will be showing you all of that. But today I just wanted to sit down, have a very easy video of me just sharing with you a couple of the things that I've been enjoying since I've been away. I did some therapy shopping, so that was all kinds of fun. And so that means that I have a lot to show you. Before we get started, I always like to show you what I have on. So today I'm just wearing a really pretty blouse that is a knit blouse. I love the neckline on this. I think it's so pretty. It has a geometric design on it, little puff sleeve with an armband, very true to size. I think I bought this in a medium and it works just perfect for me. And it does come down just barely and glides right at the top. Yeah. And also down in the description box, I will have all the makeup that I have on, my earrings, my necklace, all of that good stuff so that you can look at that and decide whether or not that's something you would like. We're gonna get into this because I have a lot to share with you. I had a Korean skincare company reach out to me and they sent me this big, huge package of Korean skincare, but these are the two products that stood out the most to me. And the first one is Lan Bell Ultra Lifting EGF Ampule, high concentrations of EGF and FGF. Now EGF stands for Epidermal Growth Factor and FGF stands for Fibroblast Growth Factor flat factor. Fibroblasts are the cells that do create collagen. So this is helping that and it's also helping our epidermis, which is also part of that plumping that keeps us looking more youthful. This is a very thin serum. I love this. It doesn't have a lot of water in it. As a matter of fact, I don't think it has any water in it. It is just chocked full of really good ingredients. And there is a 20% off sale on Amazon going on for this right now. Now this is my first bottle. I'm almost done with it, getting ready to buy another one. And I am somebody that really likes to use something for a long time before I bring it to you. But I have been noticing softening and fine lines and wrinkles, especially around my eyes. I'm really excited about that. So this was a yes for me. And then also from that same company, Land Bell, this is the Supernatural Cream 72 Hour Moisturizing Cream that simultaneously supplies moisture and moisture to dry and weaken skin and protect skin barriers. Now, I use this at night because this is a heavier cream. Also, this is a fabulous cream for my hands as well. I really love this for my hands, but it's a pretty thick cream. So if you're somebody that's very oily, you're probably not going to like that. But if you're somebody that goes to bed at night and then you wake up in the morning and your skin is super dry like mine, then you're going to love this because that does not happen. I'll put this on and in the morning when I wake up, my skin is still moisturized and I love that because that's what creates the plumped up looking skin. That's what helps soften those lines and those wrinkles and all of those things that we're trying to combat as we're doing this pro-aging. I'm trying to say pro-aging instead of anti-aging. As we're doing this pro-aging. Another product that I actually got at Walmart. Now I have been a die hard, good molecules, niacinamide toner fan. Still love that stuff, think it's fantastic. But I did find this at Walmart and I wanted to try it. This is the Disappearing Act Niacinamide PC and Pore Vanish Micro Purifying Toner. It's alcohol free and it's fragrance free. What niacinamide is really good at is helping our pores look diminished and refining that overall appearance of the texture on our skin. And it's very soothing. Niacinamide can be used with anything. If you wanna use it before you use vitamin C, if you wanna use it with your acids, with your Retin-A, any active ingredient, you can use this. My thing would be to let this dry down and then use your active ingredient afterwards. But niacinamide is so good for your skin. It's a vitamin and so it's feeding our skin. And this one is a really good one. I've really been enjoying this one as well. I have only been using this about three weeks and that's how much is used up. So this is a big one and I think it's gonna last me a long time and I'm really, really enjoying it. All right, these pretty things right here are nail polishes from ILNP. I love nail polish. 
and they're a holographic nail polish. Now these are so beautiful. I don't have my nails painted today because yeah, it was one of those days this morning. I thought I was going to do it this morning, but I didn't. But look how beautiful these colors are. They are just gorgeous. And all of them either have a super high metallic shine to them or they have a holographic look to them. Now, let me just show you this one right here really close. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. This is a purple pink with a light blue periwinkle shift in there so pretty this one is a darker one that has pinks uh deep pinks burgundies and a little bit of a green in there i just think these are so gorgeous it only takes two coats to give you exactly what the bottle shows which i love and they last like crazy i mean i could put these on no chips for like 10 days it, that's unheard of with me because I have always got chip nails if I'm using a regular cream polish. I just haven't been able to find one yet that doesn't chip, but these are really good and they come in a million different colors. And as you can see, I went crazy and I bought six. So I'm excited about these and I think that you will really love them if you love painting your natural nails or if you love painting your acrylics as well, they stay on forever. All right, during the Amazon Prime sale, I went nuts as usual. <laughs> but I bought some really cool things. And one of the things that I bought is this makeup bag. I usually carry around a huge makeup bag, and I mean a big one. But with this, I don't have to. And this is no organization hardly at all on your makeup bag, which is unheard of for me because I am the person that just likes to have things organized, but this is not. What is so cool about this is that this opens up, it sits on your counter or on your vanity, and it completely opens up so you can see every single thing in there. I think this is awesome. It does have a zipper pocket right here in the middle where you could put lip liners, eyeliners, mascaras, whatever you want to in there. And then it does have a couple of little cubbies on the side right there where you could stick other things. But I don't ever have to worry about where's this, where's that. And that's what I, when I had my big huge one, not only did I carry around way more than I needed, I also was having a hard time seeing everything. This you can see absolutely everything in. I am in love with this thing. When it folds up, it folds up pretty compact and then it has the handle right there. This is so sturdy, it's vinyl. You can wipe it with a towel if it gets dirty and gets makeup on it. I am so glad I got this. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have this particular product because I did a lot of shopping, like I said, but I think this is my favorite product that I got during the Prime Day sale. The other thing that I picked up that I was really excited about is this mirror that is a compact mirror. Now, you have all probably seen me show another mirror right here that I have shown many times on my channel, but this mirror sold out and it's gone. And so nobody can get this anymore. Now, this was a regular mirror on one side and then the five time magnifying on on the other side but this mirror right here it's the regular i'm not going to turn it and blind you guys it's the regular on one side but it's the 10 times magnifying on the other side which is really good for me when i'm trying to pluck my eyebrows because i'm blind as a bat up close it's it's pathetic but what's fun about this is it has all of its controls on the back it does have a charger so yes it is rechargeable but this thing is awesome in how bright it is as you can see right there you can have just one side on without the other if you want it that way i just really like this i've really been enjoying it and it's big enough that i can use it to do all of my makeup a lot of those compact mirrors that you find when they're a travel mirror they're very small but this one is really great to have and just put into a makeup bag that's about that size fits perfectly and so i really have been enjoying this one as well guess i'm a pink person right also another thing that i've really been enjoying traveling with is this magnetic silicone brush holder the reason being is because when i throw a brush into the bottom of a makeup bag like this what's going to happen is the bristles on it are going to get twisted they're going to get um, turned they're going to get caught in the zipper something's going to happen to them but this is my favorite brush my favorite dual-sided brush from hourglass I love this brush. It's my favorite dual sided brush of all time. And I use this brush every single day. So I love taking it with me, but I would shy away from taking it with me because I didn't want it to get ruined in the bottom of my makeup bag. 
in walks this silicone brush holder. I love this thing. It does fit more than one brush, but I only have one brush in it. The other thing is it does have a magnetic closure right there, but it's super flexible and super easy to get your brushes out of. This is great for saving your brushes. And if you're somebody that has a lot of product on your brushes, this won't get your makeup bag dirty either. It will get the inside of this little silicone pouch dirty, but you're gonna keep your makeup bag really, really clean. So this was a yay also. And then this, girls, we have to talk about this kind of stuff. I'm sorry, but this kind of stuff happens. I have one of those chests that is, you know, I nursed three babies, nursed all of my babies for 18 months. So, you know, life happens. I could not find silicone pasties that would work for me that wouldn't make me look like my areola was just bigger. And that was the problem. I would put them on, I'd stand up and I would look at my husband and I would say, you could see these, can't you? And he'd go, yeah, it looks, just looks like your areola is bigger. So what? <laughs> When I found these, I was so excited about it. I don't even remember how many came in here. I think there's five pairs in here. Looks like five. But I am on my first pair still. This is not them. I do have some on and you can't tell at all. But what's great is that you have that coverage and you're not, you know, beaming at everybody and when it's cold or, you know, whatever, but I just love these. I really love them. They're very easy to wear and they're very easy to remove, but what's great about them is they have lasted such a long time. I'm on my first pair and I think that I have been wearing them for two months and nothing, they're nothing wrong with them and you can clean these very easy if you want to clean the sticky side you just take an alcohol wipe and you can clean that and it cleans them really well and they're back to being like new so i love these the first ones that i have found that don't make me look weird and I, so yeah we got to talk about that kind of stuff because we're girlfriends here's another cool gadget that girlfriends talk about so this right here is one of those guns that looks like they use in retail where they i just look like i was gonna shoot myself in the head but where they put on the tags that's what it looks like it is well it's not that so the only way i can show you is to use like a tissue because i don't have anything right here that i can use this with but what it is is you take this part right here this actually does have a guard that comes on it so you're not going to poke yourself when it's in the drawer or wherever you decide to store it so you take this you put it through your fabric. It doesn't make holes in the fabric. I really have enjoyed that about it. And you just shoot it. And what happens is it takes the little piece of plastic that's right here and it creates the closure for it. So if you have a top, I always have these blouses that they gape right there and you can see straight down into my top. So using this, I usually use it twice on a top like that in between the buttons and it keeps it very, very secure so you can't open it or it doesn't open when you go like this. Now, if you stretch too much, it's gonna pop it because they're not that strong. And I do like that for one reason. When you open it, you can pull it apart and it's not going to damage the fabric. So this has been a lifesaver for me. Cool little gadget but a ton of uses for me. All right, I wanted to show you that I went a little bit berserk with the graphic tees during the prime days. These tees are so pretty. I had no idea that Amazon had such pretty graphic tees. And they're, they're right up my alley. They're ones that I really love. This one is a sunflower print, and then it has puzzles, puzzle pieces right here that burst out. I thought that was so pretty. This is in a dark gray heather. And then this one right here is a sunflower, black and white print, sunflower right here with a butterfly right here. I wore this out and somebody stopped me and asked me where I got it and they said, it looks like a tattoo. That is one of the coolest shirts. So this is a blue Heather. And then this one also is a sunflower on it. It's the yellow color and what bursts out of the petals of the sunflower are butterflies. I just thought that was so pretty. And then this one is probably my favorite because you guys know I adore my dogs. Black and white sunflower and then what bursts out of it is the puppy paws. 
So I just thought that all of those were so cute and I wanted to share them with you. There's a ton, an absolute ton of different kinds of graphic tees on Amazon. And yeah, just go looking in there a little bit, but these were some of my favorites and I'll make sure that they're all linked for you below. Then I wanted to show you a color block purse. It would not be a favorites video without me showing you a purse. However, this is a color block purse that is the blue and white. I think they had, they have a lot of solid colors, but I think they had um, a, a pink and white one and maybe a few other colors. I can't remember exactly. You'll see when you get on there. But this comes with another medium sized purse and then it comes with a wallet as well, which I've already given away to my sister. So <laughs> just so you know that. But I love the color blocking on it. I love the buckles. I love the gold trim on it. It does also come with the strap that go, you can use as a crossbody if you need to use that. And it has just one big pocket inside, although it does have the zipper and then the sunglasses or whatever you decide, cell phone, whatever you decide on that side. I do like having a one pocket, but um, yeah, things get kind of lost way down in there, but that's okay because I think this purse is gorgeous. Besides the two-tone earrings that I have on, I had to show you these hoops because these little hoops are so pretty. These are a rhinestone hoop. And they're, you know, they're a little bit bigger than the ones I have on. Let me just try them on for you. So they're a little bit bigger than these, but they have this cute little rhinestone all the way around. But right there, can you see that the rhinestone has a little butterfly in it? I will try to get really close so that you can see that we have a little butterfly rhinestone right there. So cute. I would say that these are probably about a two inch hoop. I love hoops anyway, but when I saw these and my love of butterflies, it was like, okay, that's really cool and I'm really gonna have to pick those up. And I think that they also come in not just silver, I think they come in gold as well. So these were a great purchase for me. These are two clips that come as a set and they are some of the prettiest claw clips I have seen in a very long time. I love these. If you have thick hair, you're gonna be able to put all of your hair in there. I, it holds my hair really tightly. It isn't loose at all. Sometimes when I get these claw clips, they're not tight enough because my hair is very fine. These are tight enough. So it does come in the silver and it comes in the gold as a two pack, but I love that it also has the pearl on accent on there and it kind of um, just elevates it a little bit. Wear them with jeans, wear them with dresses, wear them with anything, but I love these. I thought these were so pretty and definitely wanted to share them with you because I'm always on the lookout for something during the summer that's gonna hold my hair up off my neck because of how bloody hot it is right now. It is still so hot where we're at. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what your temperature is when you leave a comment down below because I think we're still in the, right around the hundreds, so it's hot. To round this favorites video out, I'm gonna share with you something that I completely spaced off, but I absolutely love, and that is this Koki foundation. Koki Cosmetics gets overlooked, I think, because I don't think you can buy these in any stores. You might be able to still buy it in Kroger or Rite Aid, but I don't have those around me at all. So I get mine off of Amazon or I order right from their website. Now, this is their full coverage foundation. This is a gorgeous foundation. I am wearing it today. It acts and looks so much like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is a, like a demi matte, not a satin, not a radiant, nothing like that. It still acts like a matte foundation and I love this stuff. It has complete coverage, but if you want to, you can go ahead and you know put it into your primer or put a little bit of moisturizer in it or a drop of oil and you can get it to be a lot thinner. But one coat and you've got full coverage. I forgot how much I loved this. And uh, the reason that I bought it is because Jen Phelps was talking about their new concealer, which I also got. She was talking about this new concealer and I got on there and I was like, oh, I forgot about how much I loved that. And when I got it, I was like, what is wrong with my head? I love this so much. It's so pretty. Now, as far as the concealer goes, Again, this is their full coverage concealer, and this is really nice if you're somebody that has dark circles from hell like I do. I mean, I have bad dark circles. 
I like this also because even though it's really, really hot right now, this is almost like a self-setting concealer. So you get the full coverage, but you're getting one that you don't have to put powder on top of, so you're not gonna see all the wrinkles and the crinkles underneath your eyes. So when I was putting it on, I was just shocked. What I did was I put it on, kind of put it on a little bit thicker without blending it out. And then I just let it set down and then went back in with my Dampen Beauty Sponge and it was almost set down to the point to where I wasn't lifting any product up. And I was like, wow, that was really cool. So this is a good one. It's a really good one. Now, I will tell you that I contacted Koki because when I got on their website and when I got on Amazon, it seemed like a lot of these shades were out of stock. And so when I emailed them, I asked them if they were getting rid of this particular foundation. They wrote back and told me, no, we're not getting rid of it, but what we are doing is trying to expand our shade range because they don't really have a great shade range. They're trying to expand their shade range, but they're finding that they're running into a few problems with supplies right now, which just about every company post COVID is having supply problems, but they are keeping this and they are going to expand their shade range. Same with the full coverage concealer. They're going to expand their shade range. So super yay. I love both of these so much. Now, I wanted to also show you this product from Koki. And by the way, I bought all of this myself. Koki is not sponsoring this and they didn't send anything to me. The Transform Mix Foundation Mixer, and this is the Dewy. Now they have one that is matte. So if you're somebody that has a lot of radiant foundations and you've just found that you don't like radiant foundation that much, they have a mixer that you can get. But what I got was the radiant one because I have matte foundations, but I like a more natural finish like what we were just talking about with their foundation. But what is so cool about this is I was rubbing it in and I was really surprised because it feels so hydrating. It just feels super duper hydrating, not greasy, just hydrating, but it does feel like a heavier hydration gotta tell you that too so you need a very small amount of it and what you're gonna see I'm trying to I got too much on here you just need a drop or two what you're gonna see is the difference in how radiant this is this isn't completely dried down and like I said I got too much on here but the difference in this is going to give you a radiant finish whereas this doesn't have anything on it and you're just gonna have that matte finish when you have the foundation on. I do have it mixed in with the foundation today and I feel like it really did give me a much more radiant look to my skin than just having the matte foundation, which again, I love, I love the full coverage, but I really do like having a little bit more dewy, a little bit more radiant. That's all the rage right now anyway, so loved that. I also did pick up their pressed powder foundation. I got mine in cool beige, and I think this might be a little bit light, but I really like the feel of this powder. I haven't tried this much yet, I will tell you that. I haven't had a chance to work too much with it, but I did want to tell you that I got it and it feels super light. It doesn't feel super drying. When I look at a powder foundation, I'm always looking for one that is not that drying. So this one feels really light, really airy, and I actually can't wait to use this and play around with it, but I did want to tell you that they do have this one as well. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of my goodies that I rounded up very recently. And I have missed you guys so much and I can't wait to make that other video and tell you everything that's been going on. I'm doing so much better. And I just wanna tell you how much I appreciate all of your well wishes and your warm thoughts and everything that you sent to me while I was down, you would DM me. It was a process to get to where I was feeling good enough to be able to film again, but I am feeling so much better. And I'm so thankful for all of you because you all just were so kind and sweet. And now you're here back again and I love it. So I can't wait to start making lots of content again for you and hopefully being more regular about my uploads. So everyone, please take care of yourselves. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions about any of this. And if you like this content and you're not subscribed, I would love it if you'd take a minute and just smash that subscribe button for me. Take care of yourselves and we'll be back together very soon in my next video. Love you friends. Bye-bye.